Hey everyone, it's Master Geo here with the next part of my DVD Blu-ray collection. But before we go into the next bunch of letters, I wanted to touch upon some movies from the letters B and C, which I didn't get to show or cover last time for whatever reason. Uh, beginning with my Blu-ray of Bereavement, which uh, is autographed by the absolutely gorgeous Alexandra Daddario. I got this signed at uh, New York Comic Con a couple of years ago. Uh, it was free. She was promoting uh, the uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D film, which I have to like. Um, we'll actually get to that when we get to the Texas Chainsaw collection I have. But anyway, she was mad cool. This is one of my favorite autographs that I have. It's a little bit hard to see, but, dude, it's Alexandra frickin' Daddario. Um, also, a couple of years ago at Chiller, I got an autographed copy of Chainsaw Sally by a couple of the cast, uh, uh, including uh, Ms. Chainsaw Sally herself. She's really fucking cool. Um, Chantel, which is signed by Misty Monday. This was at uh, the actual last Fangoria convention that I ever went to. Um, after that, there was one more, but I didn't go to that one, so... And at that same convention, I got Cannibal Holocaust signed by Ruggero Diodato. I was actually wearing my uh, Cannibal Holocaust shirt, and uh, he stopped me, you know, and, and he talked a little Italian to me and signs for me. He's a really cool guy. Um, uh, to me, Cannibal Holocaust is the best of all the uh, Italian cannibal films, although whenever I watch it, I always watch the version where you can uh, skip watching all the uh, animal violence. Sorry, but I, I, I can't deal with that. I also wanted to take the opportunity that... Um, Last night I was uh, on Twitter and found out that uh, Julie Adams, star of one of my of my second favorite classic Universal monster movie, Creature from the Black Lagoon, passed away. Uh, I was deeply heartbroken. Uh, she's uh, an iconic beauty, the beauty to the beast that is the Gill Man. Um, I, I'm heartbroken that I never got to have this autograph by her, even though she did a couple conventions that I go to, um, uh, you know, my condolences to her uh, family and loved ones, uh, Julie Adams, may you rest in peace. All right, well, let us jump into the next batch of letters, movies, that will begin with a couple of sets and odds, series, whatnot, and uh, from there we'll go to the letter F and beyond. All right, talk to you soon, and show you my collection. Well, the rest of my collection, as it might be. So, let's start with a couple of more box sets and series and special editions that I have. This is actually one of the uh, most recent things I picked up. I had heard that the Amicus collection from Severin Films is uh, out of print. So, uh, I took it upon myself to uh, get it because uh, Amazon had it at a great price. This is a uh, uh, a fucking great box set, man. You get Asylum and the, and the Screaming Starts, The Beast Within. Oh, I'm sorry, The Beast Must Die, which um, I used to watch all the time when I was a kid and it was on TV. And The Vault of Amicus, which is all trailers and whatnot. Uh, this is a great box set. If you're a fan of like classic British horror, you need to get your ass on this and fucking buy it. Uh, I, it should be noted that uh, bad taste. Uh, I uh, it's the lenticular color, which means that he, ooh, look, he's flipping you off, man. He's telling you, "Fuck you." Uh, bad taste is actually finally coming to Blu-ray. I will be upgrading it, whether I get rid of that or not. I'm undecided. Um, if you're like, oh, why doesn't Geo have anything beyond Batman Returns? Well, that's because I. I hate those two Joel Schumacher films. Although, I suppose Batman Forever isn't the worst thing ever, but... Uh, same with uh, the Last Dark Knight movie. 
I really hated that film. Um, and while I like those two, I've never felt like upgrading to Blu-ray because, honest to God, I don't watch them that much, so fine as is. Uh, I am missing um, some of the Batman animated series. Maybe one day I'll get them on the whole collection on Blu-ray. Not sure. So, yeah, that's the Batman section. You can see that I've got a couple of the animated films. Uh, Battle Royale on Blu-ray. I believe that this... Uh, particular one is out of print. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's, a, it's a cool little Blu-ray collection. Uh, the second one is crap, though, but hey, it's all right. Uh, so we get to The Beyond, which the reason I kept the DVD is because, yep, it's autographed, both by Katarina McCall and Cienzia Monarelli, both of these two lovely and very sweet ladies I met at two different chillers. Uh, of course, I did upgrade to the Blu-ray, which is, um, I got it as a birthday gift, I believe. We move down here to uh, the big box of horrors. What the main reason I own this, actually the only reason I own this, is because it is the only way, uh, other than the out-of-print DVD, to get uh, Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2, which is by far... My favorite in the Prom Night series. I really hate the first Prom Night. Actually, I think it's a piece of shit. I've never watched a single movie other than uh, Hello, Mary Lou. But uh, can, I, can I make this as an official request? Please, Lisa Scourge, do a convention. I love Lisa Scourge, who played Mary Lou in said film. Um, here is my uh, Blade Runner, a gift, for, uh, Christmas gift from one of my closest friends, um, oldest friends. Um, I, uh, got it autographed by Sean Young at a WinterCon. She was very cool. And at that same WinterCon, I got Aaron Gray to sign my, uh, Buck Rogers Complete Series Collection. Uh, I should be said that I love the first season of Buck Rogers. I never, I don't like the second season. Never even finished watching the second season. Mm -hmm. Um, I also want to point out that Chucky is one of the only, uh, franchise or otherwise I pretty much like every entry that's very rare for me um, I love the last one actually Cult of Chucky but for all, if you must know the first one Child's Play is my favorite um, we get to Creep Show and like before get the DVD because it's autographed this one by uh, Tom Atkins and Tom Savini uh, Creep Show I think is one of the uh, very best anthology movies ever made uh, I recently or bought the uh, Scream Factory uh, release, which is a magnificent Blu-ray, probably one of the best uh, uh, re-releases uh, slash special editions from last year. Uh, despite the fact that I, uh, I'm avoiding some Scream Factory due to their pricing, I couldn't say no to Creep Show, but I still remain saying no to Candyman. Will that change? Who knows? And, uh, you know, I guess it's worth pointing out that I do have Creepshow 2 from Arrow. Uh, there was uh, another edition of this one, a, a more limited edition. I don't have this, but um, that one I'm saying. But I have that. Um, the Crow is also autographed by uh, a couple of people. Uh, the Crow is one of my favorite uh, films from the 90s. Uh, the Blu-ray is great, by the way. Um... And uh, it takes up considerably less space than the DVD. Uh, more autographed films. Well, I have Adrian Barbeau, who signed uh, My Escape from New York. Uh, I still need to upgrade this to Blu-ray, by the way. Um, this was at uh, Chiller. She was very sweet. Um, I would actually get to interview her many, many, many years later at a winter con. Uh, my Exorcist DVD, one of my oldest DVDs that I own, uh, autographed by Linda Blair at a Fangoria convention. Um, you know, I have the, um, the special edition Exorcist, uh, which includes both versions. Um, my, uh, Family Guy films, Fantastic Four. We shall go back to where we had left off after Fantastic Four, after we're done with this section. Um, this uh, brings us to uh, where F officially starts with uh, Just Franco's 
Faceless, which is one of my favorite Jess Ranko films. Um, this softcore movie um, is um, autographed by jo uh, Josie Lynn. Um, this was at a chiller. Uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's on the girl on the cover, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, Fast Five is the only Fast and Furious movie that I own, and it will probably remain that way. Um, my Final Destination co collection, um, I've managed to upgrade uh, one to Blu-ray. Yeah, anything else I already had on Blu-ray. Um, I would like to get the others on Blu-ray, but um, I would very much like to show you that my uh, DVD is signed by the absolutely gorgeous Ali Larder. That was at a Fangoria convention. Um, I really think Ali Larder should do conventions. Again, uh, she was promoting Final Destination 2 at that point. Um, for those saying, oh my god, he's got Firestarter 2, but not 1. I, I do plan on getting that eventually. Again, one of the few comedies I own, 500 Days of Summer, which is definitely one of my favorite comedies. Flesh for the Beast, um, which, again, is a little hard to tell, but um, it is autographed by uh, Ruby LaRocca and uh, Jane Scarlett. Um, both, um, uh, both friends of mine, um, that was at, I, at a Fangoria convention, yes. The Flower and Snake series, um, if you're into, like, um, Japanese, uh, exploitation sleaze, um, I, I do recommend those. The last one, Flower and Snake 2, is by far the worst one, but, uh, it's not that bad. Um, you can see that... I have The Fly, uh, both the original and the remake. On Blu-ray, I have two is only on DVD, so that is why you will see it on DVD. Um, the four film cl cult classics, um, or whatever. Um, I own two of those already on Blu-ray, The Fun House and Phantasm 2. Um, one of these days, I'll get The Serpent and the Rainbow. Uh, I don't know if I need... I love Blu-ray uh, collection, so that is why I am uh, I have a bunch of the 42nd Street Forever uh, series. I love, love, love Blu-ray collections. Love. Um, I want to show. I don't have a lot of um, steel cases, but I, I do have this uh, Bright Frankenstein one. Uh, it's uh, my favorite of the Universal Monster movies. Uh, I guess I introduced you to my second favorite, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, before. So now you can see my favorite. So, I have three of them. I still kept three of the DVDs because, yes, you guessed it, they're autographed. Uh, the first one I actually have autographed by Tom Savini, uh, Sean Cunningham, and uh, Robbie Morgan. Uh, they, they are different conventions. Uh, this uh, final chapter is also autographed. Moving on to Blu-ray, I have... Um, Everything from part one to eight on Blu-ray. Um, I do not have Jason Goes to Hell or Jason X on Blu-ray because um, they weren't released separately. You had to buy the box set, but the box set wouldn't have offered you the first one. And Jason Goes to Hell unrated. And since they're already fucking available unrated, why wouldn't you fucking release them unrated? So I, I, real, I believe they did have a, another box set after that, but I already own these. And until... They actually put Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X separately, or both of them on one Blu-ray. I'm not upgrading. You can suck my fucking dick. Um, yes, well, uh, Friday 13th Part 2 is uh, autographed by two of the loveliest ladies from the film. Uh, Kristen Baker and um, Laurie Marie Taylor. Uh, both of them were so sweet. Um, both of them were at a um, chiller. Also autographed is um, Friday 13th Part 3 um, by the lovely actress who played Debbie on it. Um, she was really awesome. Um, and uh, I don't, the other ones that don't have autographed, I actually did want to get Part 8, which I don't like really at all, but by um, Kelly Who, but she was signing, charging a little too much. I only got a picture with her. This was at the, uh, the last chiller I went to. 
Um, I'm very happy that they're upgrading Fright Night, that, that they were going to be releasing Fright Night on Blu-ray. Um, I will be picking that up, and uh, I guess I'll be getting rid of that DVD, which wasn't that long ago that I picked up used anyway. Um, I do need to get the uh, first season of Friday 13th, the series on and DVD, complete that. Um, I've been along. Um, get to my Gamera collection. Um... I only have one G.I. Joe season. Um, I, I do need to upgrade Ginger Snaps to Blu-ray, but I should show you that the first Ginger Snaps is autographed both by Emily Perkins and uh, Catherine Isabel at two different conventions years apart. Uh, actually, Emily, I met, I got both of uh, these signed by her at a Fangoria show. You know, back when people signed for free, that doesn't happen anymore. Those of you with a good eye may have noticed that you saw the girl next door, the comedy over there. Well, here's the girl next door, the super disturbing horror film based on a, loosely based on a, on a true story. Um, this film over at the, well, this, I don't know, it's a film. This uh, softcore uh, DVD, hold on. Was signed to me at a Fangoria show by uh, the two, one of both of the girls that are here, Violetta and uh, Carrie Taylor. I believe they're both completely retired. Um, this is not very special the movie, I mean, but they were really hot and nice in person, so I was more than happy to meet them and uh, get their autograph. Um, Gremlins is one of my absolute favorite horror comedies of all time, and I do believe that two is. An awesome, awesome fucking sequel. One of the best sequels in horror. I know it's a horror comedy, but you know what I mean. And for Halloween 2, the reason was this Blu-ray is the only way to get uh, Terror in the Isles. Um, as it's an extra feature. It's a little, uh, I guess, documentary you would call it. Uh, with uh, Which... I enjoy watching, it's, um, there are some questionable films in there, like, um, Nighthawks, but it, it, it's really fun, it's really cool, um, of course, the main reason I kept is because Halloween 4 is autographed by, uh, Daniel Harris and Ellie Cornell, meanwhile, the, um, remake is autographed also by Daniel Harris, and a, and a different convention, years later, actually, uh, Christine Klebe and Ken Forey. Um, I'm a huge fan of the remake, and this is going to piss somebody off, and I don't really care. Um, it's actually my second favorite in the franchise. I like it, honestly, more than any of the sequels. Any of them. Um, this documentary, um, it's okay. Um... I think the uh, thing that kind of sticks most into my head is that there was this one crazy girl who really was crazy. She was uh, really cute. She won a role in the next in the next Halloween sequel, which technically would have been Halloween the remake, but I don't think she was in that. I guess um, it didn't turn out that she actually won it. Uh, <laughs> we get to my uh, hammer section. Um, I really need to make this bigger, and I need to. By bigger, I mean add more to it. Um, I need to upgrade the Hammer Horror series to Blu-ray, and this one I'm really happy to own the uh, Hammer the Horror Classics. Uh, it was put up by Warner Brothers a few years ago. I got this one as um, a birthday present. Um, all of these movies are great. Um, I, I love uh, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, and especially The Mummy. Um, this is up to Happy Death Day. I cannot wait for Happy Death Day to you, which will be coming out. Happy Death Day to you, which will be coming out um, later this month. Um, I heart Jessica Roth, and I wish she would do conventions. Hard Boiled, by the way, is the absolute great ever made. I really should get more Hatchet on Blu-ray. Um, I was l hoping to get some when Fye closed down. But um, I only had Hatchet 2, which obviously I have, which is my favorite, by the way. 
actually wrote an article when I was uh, writing for uh, Robots uh, uh, Against Monkeys, uh, where I picked it as one of the best slasher films you may have not seen. And I got to tell Adam Green all about that at uh, Monster Mania. And we'll get to his autograph soon enough. It was very recently that I upgraded both Hellboys to Blu-ray. Uh, this Hell Knight Blu-ray I highly recommend. Um, I think Hell Knight is very underrated. This is a great release from Screen Factory, and I um, actually managed to pick it up on sale, which they don't do anymore. It was at, F it was at FYE. Um, I've kept that Hellraiser, even though I have the box set, because, I guess, because it comes with Bloodline and Inferno, neither of which I like. Um, but, like, I already had it, and I was like, eh, I'll keep it, I mean... I mean, Azalek from Bloodlines really hot, so there's that, right? Um, we'll get to the Hellraiser uh, uh, trilogy when uh, we much later on in the series. Um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer is another film I would very much like to upgrade to Blu-ray. Mm. I love this Arrow release of The Hills Have Eyes. It's uh, a really awesome uh, set. Um, for what's worth, I think the remake is all right. Um, I'm not like the world's biggest fan of it. Here's one of my favorite autographs that I own. It's uh, Rudger Hauer. He signed uh, the Hitcher for me. Um, this was at when uh, Madison Square Garden used to run this uh, sci-fi sci convention. Um, I didn't actually pay that much for it. Today he charges a pretty penny for it. His autograph. Back then I only paid like mm, 25 bucks for it. Um, as I said, I did meet Adam Green, and he signed uh, Hollison for me. I love Hollison. Uh, this is season two. I really need to get season one, but I, I, I can't stress how much I absolutely love Holliston. Speaking of con uh, autographs at conventions, um, I managed to, get to score uh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers um, autographed by... Uh, both Fred Ellen Ray and uh, the gorgeous uh, Michelle Bauer. Actually, after I bought this, was the first time I've ever seen Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. It, it's, a, it's a good, funny, fun film. We get to another one of those budget uh, DVD collections. I um, got this as a Christmas present. It was really on my wish list only for Class of 1999, which I upgraded to Blu-ray. But, um, I guess it's got some other stuff, most of which are either suck or I already own. But, uh, I kept it. Mm. Here we go to another signed one. I had their subsidiary screen factory. Um, it's the only way to see it unrated. I, I, I can't recommend it enough. And like I said, uh, please check out my write-up on my site. Uh, that's my Hunger Games collection, which I finally finished um, re very recently, as FYE was closing down. Um, if you've never seen Inside, please see it. That is a one of the finest French horror films ever made. It's hardcore, it's brutal, it's uncompromising. It is exactly my type of horror film. And... Um, I just want to go back to if you can if you see the Immortal live at Vakin 2007. Um, I review that on my site as well. Immortal are one of my favorite black metal bands of all time, and um, uh, I love everything they've done. I actually adore their last album, and I love uh, their singer Abbott's um, solo album from a few years ago. Uh, well, former singer, as he's no longer with them. Um, Intimate Confessions of a Chinese Courtesan is definitely one of my favorite Shaw Brother movies, and it's very much unlike any Shaw Brother movie you've probably ever seen, as um, it features hot lesbian action, aside from the action and usual uh, violence. Um, I, I highly recommend it. Um, I also wrote a review for that at, when I used to write for the Gorezone.net. Invasion USA is my all-time favorite Chuck Norris film. Um, Intruder is another movie I reviewed. I actually reviewed that when I was writing for besthorrorfreaks.com. Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, best horror movies. 
uh, com, todayhorrorfreaks.com. Uh, please check that out. Um, I adore Intruder. This was uh, the first time I'd ever seen the unrated version. Since then, I've popped in that Blu-ray quite a few times. Um, I really should get more Iron Maiden uh, stuff, obviously, on Blu-ray at this point. Uh, we get to my Spit on Your Grave collection. Um, I actually kind of regret not ever have upgrading I Spit on Blu-ray because today it's out of print and demands a pretty penny. But um, I, the DVD itself, I, uh, it's a pretty good DVD, actually, all things considered. Um, it's uh, autographed by uh, the gorgeous Camille Keaton, whom I met at a chiller, at, also at chiller but a different chiller uh sarah butler signed uh the second one uh, i'm not the second one i'm sorry the uh, remake for me and um i've never met anyone from uh, part two although god i would love to meet the actress in part two it would be very cool if she did a uh, a chiller i'm uh, quite a big fan of part two i don't think it's as great as the original or the remake but it is a fucking good film which is more than i can say for the third one which is all right, but the more you think about it, the more you're like, uh -huh. I cannot wait for It Chapter uh, 2, as I firmly believe it to be one of the finest uh, Stephen King adaptations of all time. If you're very, very curious, my actual favorite Stephen King film is Cujo. Um, I want to say this about it, so it follows. Um, when I watched it a second time around, I was a little uh, bored. Yeah, I liked it more the first time than the second time I watched it. And we will end with the uh, Screen Factory's release of the awesome It's Alive trilogy. This was a um, birthday present I got last year. It's one of my favorite box sets because It's Alive fucking rocks. And uh, it kicks ass. Um, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. And uh, that is it for now. When next we... Uh, congregate um, I will be showing you letter J and beyond till then peace